Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. This time um, I will be going to Truck Festival in Steventon in Oxfordshire. I've been the last two years and it's been really, really good fun. It's a really local festival for me. Um, my girlfriend's family and my family uh, all go down there, so it's a really nice atmosphere. Um, and the last few years I get some really good acts, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this this year. In past years I have camped, but this year I got offered to stay at my mum's boyfriend's house, which is literally like a two minute walk from the festival, so I thought I'd do that this year. Unfortunately I missed a lot of the first day because I had to work, uh, but I'm here and I'm gonna catch uh, Lewis Capaldi's set, so that'll be really good. And then Nothing But Thieves and Wolf Alice after that. So I'm really looking forward to it. Foles are gonna be really good Saturday and the Japanese house, another one I'm really looking forward to. So yeah, can't wait to get down there.
So I'm feeling a bit worse for wear after last night. I got very wine drunk and that's very unlike me. But we'll go again. I didn't realise there was a night mode on this camera. Uh, so the videos from last night aren't the best. Um, but Wolf Alice were just incredible. Their set was blew my mind. Is it out of this world? I really, really like them. There was just no light around to film sort of vlogs in between. After Wolf Alice, we headed over to the market stage for the Switch um, DJ event. Stayed there for a bit and then headed to the Silent Disco, which is great fun as well. Today, I'm hoping to see only the poets, um, and I'm really looking forward to Foles and Don Broco as well. Yeah, I've listened to them a little bit more now since Mad Cool, um, so that should be really good fun. Yes, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to day two of Truck. So I just had to go on that, that was really good fun. And I got myself a truck merch really. And uh, now I'm off to see Milk Teeth.
Morocco. Absolutely mad. Fuck me, that was so good. Oh, so, so good. The crowd was just well up for it. I managed to get really close to the front, as you guys probably saw. Oh my god, so, so good. So I'm just heading back to my mum's boyfriend's house, gonna get a few drinks, a few cheaper drinks, and then uh, head back for Foles. So I've headed back for a few drinks and now I'm heading back to the festival for Foles. I'm really looking forward to it. Still can't get over how good Don Broco were. I was so sweaty, so I had to change my t-shirt. Um, but yeah, they were so good. I'm buzzing for Foles. I saw them at Big Weekend. It was the first time I saw them. Um, and I've been told really good things about them. I know there's quite a lot of people that I know that are really big fans of them. Um, but I've never really got into them. But I've been listening to them a lot since Big Weekend. And yeah, I've been really enjoying really enjoying it so yeah this one's gonna be a good one I think they're from Oxfordshire so this is like a homecoming gig for them that's what truck was advertising it as anyway so yeah good energy I think So it's the final day today, day three. Vols were really good last night. Um, I did think their sound was a little bit off though. I don't know if it, it just seemed a little bit quieter than the other acts that we'd seen there, but other than that, they were really good. Really looking forward to see the Japanese house today and Sea Girls, they're on main stage a little bit later. And then Yumi at six and Two Door to close the weekend. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it.
so I'm back from truck and I had the most amazing weekend. It was my third year there and uh, yeah, it was just the best one yet for me personally. The three headliners, when I think about it, they're just such big headliners for such a small festival. Um, I think they did really well to pull in Wolf Alice Foles and Tudor and they all absolutely brought it. They were all amazing. Those three headliners will definitely be on some really big stages, headlining some really big events in the not too distant future. So I think that was a really good coup for Truck to get those. So just to recap a bit on Sunday, so the Japanese house had some problems with their set. They ended up coming out and sound checking like literally right before their set. And then they come off stage and then they come back on. Throughout the whole set, they just could not get the sound right. Um, Amber was always signaling off stage saying can you turn the reverb up or down it just didn't sound great i was really looking forward to that one so that was that was a bit of a shame but seagulls were really good after them i really enjoyed their set that's a lot of fun good energy and then you made six managed to get really close to the front again third time seeing them now and um yeah brilliant and then to end with two door brilliant i think that was the perfect sunday headline slot um their music you can just dance to and you just know every song it's just hit after hit so I think that was a really, really great way to end the festival. Foles. That headline slot will be in my mind forever. Like, I will never forget that set. It just was amazing. I know this, I said that there was some sound problems, but regardless of all of that, that set would just stay in my mind forever. It was so, so, so good. So my second highlight was Wolf Alice. In particular, Don't Delete the Kisses and Bros. I love those songs. Uh, just to hear them live, they're such beautiful songs. Like, yeah, that was a proper, proper moment. My third highlight is going to be Only the Poets. I thought their whole energy was just really, really good. Uh, Tommy was running around stage. He was absolutely loving it. They all looked really, really happy to be there. And seeing artists like sort of come up and work their way up the festival lineups, that's what you want to see. Uh, you want to see people that enjoy themselves, um, and then you know they're going to be sticking around for quite a while. Japanese house, although it's not just the Japanese house that had this problem, it was the set that highlighted the problem the most. I don't know what it was, I don't know if they turned it up late and they didn't make their sound check in the morning. They just had so many problems on stage and it was a real big shame. Probably the set I was looking forward to the most. But again, like I said, not limited to just them. It was a problem that a lot of artists were having. And then to top it all off, they got bought off early because they started late. My second low light would be the Switch DJs. I didn't think the lineup for the Switch DJs was as good as it has been in previous years. I know in the past they've had Wilkinson, last year was Sub Focus, which was absolutely amazing. Yeah, I just didn't didn't really think it was that good this year. So my third low light will be the Silent Disco. Um, I did get to go to the Silent Disco on Friday night. Um, I think we only got in because it was absolutely hammering down and most people either went home or back to their tents and kind of didn't want to be out in the rain. The tent was tiny that they did the silent disco in on the Friday night and they actually moved it to uh, the nest where you couldn't get in unless you were leaving the like last act 15 minutes early. You weren't getting in, the queues were just ridiculous. Um, and they only had two stations as well. So at other silent disco events, you have multiple channels and yeah, that, it just didn't really seem very well organized or well thought out because there was nothing going on late. That was obviously going to be a huge draw for people, so for them not to get that quite right or not be able to facilitate that many people kind of sucked a bit. Having said all of that, it was still such an amazing weekend. Um, it was the best truck I've been to and I've been the last three years. Like I said, the headliners just were amazing and I think they're going to get some really good acts there next year. Uh, value for money, £80 for the weekend for the village tickets, this is just no brainer, absolute no brainer with this kind of acts they're getting now so I would definitely be back there next year. So if you've liked this vlog please like, comment and subscribe. Um, I will be doing a vlog from Reading Festival coming up and then after festival season's over I will be doing them for gigs that I go to as well so yeah stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching guys, bye.